Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to this Nessius Advanced course and we have already covered a lot of topics. Now in this weekend I have a plan to the finish up remaining topics which talks about Nessius microservices, Nessius integration with RabbitMQ, Redis and all these things, miscellaneous items, okay. So first of all let's uh, go structure like we are going to talk about uh, the Nessius events, Nessius caching, Nessius with uh, maybe a mongoose with the SQLized library then we'll talk about uh, Nessius building the authentication, an authorization service which is like a role based authorization then Nessius security modules like what all security you can implement like the role based authorization then the Nessius uh, in-memory caching and using Redis as a cache manager and then Nessius microservices where we will talk about the TCP based and using different protocols EMQP, REST, gRPC, GraphQL. Uh, primarily we are going to talk about okay how two services are communicating on the TCP or in EMQP or using gRPC way and then we'll talk about the event sourcing in the Nessius which is CQRS reactive patterns in Node.js where everything is happening through after a particular event okay and we will implement we will explore how we can create an event store uh, with uh, Nessius so these are the future topics okay now let's talk about this particular uh, video and we are going to talk about is task scheduling now this is very important in the in everyday programming sometimes like you wanted to raise an event and so you want to ask someone else to handle that event because that is purely asynchronous and that can happen over the time like you have created a user and now you wanted to send a notification to the user okay so you have created a user so your major API task is done you will send a response back and you will raise an event and ask an event handler okay send this email whenever the service is available okay like you raise an event that event will post a message to the SQS and SQS will purely handling this is using message driven way and you will receive a notification email after maybe a 10 seconds or whenever the service is active okay so for that particular case we need an event driven or event emitter let's say so what you need to do for the event emitter it is nothing but you will do some uh, some read write to the database now you want to do something okay so you will right away send a response back to the client but you can still do some asynchronous thing by raising a asynchronous event like okay user created send a notification send an email all these things so you have to just import this event emitter module in your root module so here i have my domain module so inside this i can just add this event emitter module uh, obviously i will be adding this uh, next yes, event emitter and then whatever the service you are writing you will just inject this inside your dependency injection of a particular service let's say i am writing this controller and there is a user controller once user is created so there is a user create event you can see and once the user is created i wanted to do something so i will just uh, use event emitter here and we will import it from I need to just install that module and then once user is created I can send the object so here it can be a simple function also like uh, you can just raise a particular event so this is the handler whenever the order created event is being fired okay so what we are doing is here you can just raise an event so here we got the event emitter object let me just install this particular module by just doing this npm install i think for this project this is not installed so we can just go ahead and do npm install okay and then you can just do this dot event emitter dot emit your event name and your payload that's it now the handler you are going to write either in a separate service or you can just write a handler right away in a separate function here so handler can be simple as this on event whenever the order created event is being triggered this is your controller mostly you will write these things in your services so let's do this 
in service so here we have our service user services first i will do is i will inject this inside my constructor now we'll add one more dependency here okay this event emitter we can get from the nsjs event emitter module and then we can write this method so whenever this event is getting triggered the order dot created event this is the handler for that so you raise the you raise the event and here i am the one who is handling this particular event okay we can just import the event emitter and whenever there is a event is getting created like there is a create event here what we can do is before even returning this this is purely asynchronous uh, not on the search sorry so here we can say this dot event emitter dot there are methods so there are methods like event dot emit simple and event and here is your method name let's say user dot created and if you have some payload you just send it here and here there is a event handler which will say okay user dot created whenever this is getting raised i will be creating this on event and we don't have a type for now so we'll just put it any clean and simple right now you got the data now you will play with that data okay what you want to do in this particular event okay so this is pretty much simple you even raise an event from any of your service you write a handler for it and do your asynchronous stuff right there okay so it is simple this dot event emitter dot emit your order dot created user dot created whatever and you just create the event okay you can actually create the object i mean this is nothing but a data data can be a object of a class or whatever you will just send that after creating the event here you are sending the payload it can be a of type some interface and then this same data will be handling in the handler this is the handler this is the this is actually listener this is actually event emitter that's it okay so these are very important like whenever you wanted to do the asynchronous thing there is another thing is about uh, the timer events like sometimes what you want is after a particular duration you wanted to execute a particular method okay so that is uh, i think the events timer events it it goes uh, acts like uh, what you can say is a timer event yeah that is i think task scheduling yes yeah, so there this is this is what i was talking so for that there is a scheduler module provided by nscs and uh, if you have used node cron module in your express application that you then you might be aware about this what it does is it is helping you to schedule a particular task after a particular time like you you have a some file service which you wanted to read and write then you can actually use scheduler module to schedule all those things now we have event emitter module we can import this and for this we have to include these two modules nsj schedule and the cron I mean i used it a lot and it is really helpful whenever you have some particular task okay i have uh, my api server is running but every day i need to do something on a particular task basis so i can actually write a cron task for it after including it including it in the root module write your task service i already have one service created i need to i don't need to do any dependency injection i just get the cron from the schedule module and in the same service i have post service currently so you can write a simple method here on the top let's say what that method will do is log user or count user or do something okay so this cron module you will get from the noise schedule 
and this handle cron will execute according to the schedule we have put. So this is the cron expression. What it does is in this cron expression, I hope you know what it does is it's second, minute, hour, day, month and week, right? So you can write a custom cron expression and this is really helpful when you wanted to schedule a particular task on your API server every night do this every night do that okay that you can schedule like this so it's like a task handler which will run your task based on the cron expression you don't need to write a cron job on that API server this will be able to do it so it's uh, like an implementation of a node cron uh, in, the, in the next you just and th there is also a cron expression if you don't want to write the cron expression here I, if I don't understand this much I can do is cron expression dot every 45 second so this this thing is going to execute in every 45 seconds similarly there is a minute there is R okay so this is about the task module here you can actually change it to something else cron expression dot you can see all the options every 12 hour every 10 hour every 10 minute every another day something like this okay so this will automatically execute the only thing is your server should be up and running in that case okay thanks everyone so this is about uh, events modules and the task scheduler in the, the next years